So on July 9th at around 7.20 in the evening, a assault call came in to our officers and uh, came in for the 2400 block of um, Adams Avenue. When officers arrived, they uh, immediately saw that there was a 23-year-old male who had been assaulted and he was taken to a local hospital for his injuries where he remained in critical condition. Uh, during the investigation, they identified a suspect who was taken into custody for attempted homicide. It was a 28-year-old male by the name of Christian Tayale. Uh, the investigation also further revealed that he may also be a person of interest in a suspicious death that took place in Spanish Fork. Right, so currently both agencies are working together. Uh, as far as the information on how we came across it, it's still being investigated currently. Do we know what's the re relation between the suspect and the victim? There was no relation between the suspect and the, and the victim. Um, uh, as far as the, the victim goes, you said that um, they're they're, they, they're still alive, and so... And critical condition. Oh, critical condition. Okay, Correct. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what I, what I want to ask. Brian, is there you get to go? Oh, sorry. Um, you know, uh, how's this hit you? Uh, this is nobody knew a victim or anything like that? I'm sorry? Uh, your reaction to this? Oh, it's, you know, any time that there's anything like this that happens, I mean, we respond to all kinds of uh, events where where things like this or similar happen, but it's, it's never uh, easy and it's a tragedy. Our, our um, thoughts go out to the, the family of the victim who, like I said, still remains in critical condition. Yeah, like, like you just, this is your job. It's sure. Things like this. Um, this one stick out. Um, not particularly. I wasn't an investigator on the scene and, and uh, wasn't there at the incident, but nothing in particular stands out. Sure, no, no. Uh, as far as the details, uh, I, it's still being investigated, so there's not really anything else as far as the details that we're going to release at this time. Does, uh, I mean, any of it appear to be gang related or anything like that? I mean, or does it appear to be right now at this point just random? Uh, right now at this time, it appears to be just a, a isolated random incident like I said, where the, the suspect and the victim didn't know each other. I'm sure that as soon as we can, we will be able to release more information uh, as the investigation continues. Does the, does the person uh, that you guys have in custody have a criminal background that you're able to tell us about or anything like that? At uh, this time, I'm not sure. Yes, yep. Okay. Uh, do you know where they're from? Uh, from Utah County. No, not that I can think of, really based on the information that I, and I can release, there's, there's not anything else other than it is being investigated. So.